Happy Halloween! I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far.、Um, I'm about to go to a birthday kind of Halloween party, hence why I'm all dressed up here like a Peaky Blinder. But anyway, I'm gonna go.、Uh, these are your rapid readings. Okay, going over the next three months for you guys. So from October to January 2025. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Have an amazing day. Let me know how you're spending it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hello, my lovely Torians out there. How are you guys doing? So this is your rapid read. Reading. All right, so this is November, December, and January. Okay, so some really good stuff going on on these、um, kind of other months. I will say that November seems a little bit challenging, but we'll dive into it in a second because the Y card coming through is really about tapping into your subconscious mind. Okay, really asking deeper questions because not everything is as it seems in the month of November, even if it is your own doubts and fears. Because the Nine of Swords being here does tell me that there is a lot that you are worried about. Maybe even now when you're watching this, but going into November and around November, there is some stressors coming up here with the Nine of Swords. Now, for some of you with the High Priestess, it does feel like these are subconscious fears that are coming through,、um, and maybe this is why they're asking you to dive deeper. Why are these thoughts coming up? Where did they stem from? Where were they created? If these are all like subconscious stuff,、um, a really good. Uh, time to kind of tap into your intuition because it could be telling you something at this moment, and there is something that I'm getting about like insomnia, or again like your dreams might be telling you something. Like even if you're being chased in your dream and it's like a horrible dream, like what is it telling you about your own psyche? Is what I'm hearing here because for some of you, you do have dissatisfaction with life, and it only feels like it's happening in the month of November because the rest of the months it looks like you're able to kind of solve and resolve whatever it is that's going on here. So. Whatever is going on in November, the King of Pentacles. Maybe you're worried about your、um, stability. Maybe you're worried about your career. Maybe it's about your Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a good card about good stability. But maybe you're questioning whether you know why is it that I'm having anxiety going to work? You know if I get paid enough. But maybe you're not really enjoying what it's bringing into your world. For example, whatever it is to you, again type、uh, type type into your psyche. What? Maybe googling it could help.、Um, you know. Uh, but speaking to people could help. But again, the High Priestess says that you already have all the answers within, and this is why the Y card is here is because it's about asking yourself the right questions. Don't just dismiss anything in a month of、um, November, even if your intuition is telling you,、uh, especially if your intuition is telling you something is off or something is hidden or there's something deeper happening、um, with whatever it is that you're feeling. Okay, King of Pentacles is also good for the fact that I do see that your finances are going to be、uh, doing very well in the month of November. Remember, maybe you're working super hard. You do have the table over here, which I don't know if you can see, but it says hard work ahead, obstacles to overcome, time to get out of a situation. I'm reading these ones first because those feel like those are happening in the month of November. I will say it's quite a challenging month, or at least on a spiritual level, or you know. It just feels a bit challenging, and that's what they wanted to bring up. Okay, so working on your foundations could be important. We have the vulture down here, and it says depression, anxiety, worry that someone is going against,、um, someone is against you. So for a lot of you, maybe that's something that you are a bit worried about. Okay, and if that is the case, and not just a worry, then again, it might be time to get out of a situation if it's causing dissatisfaction with your life.、Uh, okay. Right, going into December,、uh, we have this beautiful peace card. So something is calling you to be set free in a way. Six of Swords. Maybe you guys are moving. Maybe you're spiritually moving on, moving away from chaos and conflict, moving away from challenging times. You're taking the lesson with you and moving towards calmer waters, which again goes hand in hand with peace. This can be a time where there could be reconciliation because there is a dove bird with an olive branch. But for a lot of you, your peace is coming from allowing something to unfold naturally, especially when it comes. Down to plans and whatever future goal you have, but this is a beautiful month of December. Of course, we have family here, which makes sense around holiday season. But the Ten of Cups is just about so much happiness in your community, and even if it's not that. All right. If that's not how you're celebrating December, the Two of Wands is, and the Ten of Cups tells me that you are really thinking about this end goal in your life and actually taking action and plans to get there. So it is a, just it's just a beautiful energy in the month of December. To be honest with you, because you could have a plan, all right, or a project going on or an idea、uh, that you're waiting to hatch or you know be brought into your reality. So if it's a manifestation, eggs can just be anything that's being brought to life. It feels like you're feeling super happy about.、Uh, 
uh, where things are going and allowing things to happen in their own timing. Two of Wands in the center of your reading in the month of December tells me that you are really looking at expanding, all right, seeing where your life is going to go and what's going to bring you happiness, especially again if you've been dealing with a lot of dissatisfaction. The month of December is where that seems to change, all right. You do have bouquet. That says compliments from an admirer that could be happening around December. But for a lot of you, I do see you if you are single, of course, meeting somebody in a month of January. January feels incredible, by the way. So December is peaceful. It's all about planning and prepping and moving on, moving forward, uh, learning our lessons and moving towards happiness, spending time with the community. Like it's just amazing time. Some of you could be planning travel for the next year as well. Maybe you are traveling in the month of December to be around family or community or friends, whatever it is. It just looks really, really amazing. Uh, the world is your oyster in the month of December. January is all about results. You have Treasure Island here. So this can also be like past results. Uh, sorry, results coming through from past actions because it is on this turtle here. It's slow moving. It's been a while. You know, this could be something that you did in the past. All right. So Treasure Island being all about rewards coming away. The Ace of Wands, all about a new beginning, all about new passion, new energy. Page of Wands and a Page of Swords tells me there's a lot of communication and offers coming your way okay quite important things they're saying are going to be said to you this again could be about you diving deeper into a plan to make sure that all the details are lined up and doing your research about where you want to go moving forward especially any any project or any idea that you have in the month of January is a really amazing time to kind of look a little bit deeper into it. Okay, whatever that Ace of Wands is. Some of you, again, definitely seem to be moving around this time or thinking about it. Ace of Wands could represent that January you could actually find a place that you want to move into, for example. Um, it just feels really nice. Again, Page of Souls about being curious within this month, studying things, looking deeper, doing your research. Page of Wands being about great ideas coming your way. All right. Um, this could be an announcement of some kind. It's going to make you super happy. Uh, this can be about you uh, being more creative within the month of January. Um, but ultimately, it does feel like there's a lot of uh, communication coming your way and opportunities coming your way as well in the month of January. All righty. Again, for those of you who want to hear a little bit about love, uh, there is definitely some flirtatiousness going on here. I feel like you are the page of swords and a little bit not trusting of whoever comes into your life. But again, this feels like a gift. Um, whatever this is, it feels like a fun time. Okay. And it's not just related to love in that way. Ace of Wands feels like a really fun time in the month of, uh, January. Some of you could really be invited to certain things as well within this month, but that's what I have for you. So that's just your very quick reading. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you guys in the next one.